for some reason, and there were reasons, but I went on vacation in August, which means I have spent most of my time either sweaty, sweaty mess, or I just got out of the bubble bath and so I'm my hair is all wet. So I'm taking advantage of this opportunity near the end of my vacation when I am fresh to wrap up what I have done this weekend. So my vacation was a Thursday to Sunday. I spent day one in Bloomington, Illinois, and days two, three, and four in Springfield, Illinois. On the way down, I stopped for lunch at Edinger's Filling Station, which it may sound weird, but it was a retro gas station themed diner. It was very cute. And when I arrived in Bloomington, the first activity of my vacation was a tour of the David Davis Mansion, which is in Bloomington. He was a Supreme Court Justice and close family friend of Abraham Lincoln. A lot of this will relate to Abraham Lincoln, of course. It feels like someone's just gonna pop through those curtains. There's also a garden on that property, which is actually, I don't know if it's the longest, like, continually, this is the original garden and it's still a garden today type thing. I don't know if it's the longest or one of the longest that, probably in the state of Illinois, but it was a lovely garden. And then I checked into the bed and breakfast I stayed in in Bloomington. It was the Vroomen Mansion bed and breakfast and it was glorious. I am so in love with that place. This is my room at the bed and breakfast. This is the Rose Suite and private bathroom. Clawfoot tub. I'm so excited. So after I got settled into my room, I got to relax a little bit, and then I went out to dinner at the Luca Grill, where I had a veggie burger and a blackberry mint sangria, which was very tasty.
wanted to share something cool about the bathroom before I go. So originally this room was a trunk room, which is why this is here for decoration. So when people would travel to visit the original owners of the house, they'd have these big traveling trunks, which were quite heavy and obviously hard to get up the stairs. So downstairs in a room off the kitchen, there is another trunk room, which is basically an elevator system that would bring the trunks up to the second floor. And that is why there is a door connecting to the hallway in this room. I wish I could have stayed longer. And if you are ever in Bloomington Normal, highly recommend. It was then about an hour to Springfield. And so I parked at the hotel but it was too early to check in, but I said, I checked that I could park there before checking in and I could. And this hotel is, it's the Inn at 835. It's on 2nd Street, blocks away from the State Capitol building, within walking distance of everything I did Friday, but we'll get to that. So I arrived Friday morning, park at the hotel. I had originally planned on touring the State Capitol, but I had gotten a little later start to my morning than I had originally planned, which happens, but that's fine. But I did get to walk by it. Very beautiful. You can see it from like, or the dome and on top at least from most, most of the way around downtown. So I first stopped for lunch at Moldner's. And then I did my t first tour in Springfield of the Dana Thomas house, which was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, completed in, I believe, 1904. If it's not, I'll correct it here. But I had never toured a Frank Lloyd Wright designed house before, which I could have. There are ones, there's at least one, probably more, near where I live, but it was so amazingly unique. I couldn't take pictures inside, unfortunately. Um, but I do have some uh, images and video from around the house. It, uh, if you have the opportunity to tour a Frank Lloyd Wright designed home, please do so. My next tour was of the governor's mansion, which is just like two blocks from there. Again, could not take pictures inside, but absolutely gorgeous. The house itself from outside is gorgeous. The grounds were gorgeous. The inside, oh my goodness, gorgeous. So full of history. Again, lots of Lincoln stuff. Can't avoid it here. And my tour guides for both the Dana Thomas house and the governor's mansion were brilliant. They were excellent, very, knowledge very knowledgeable, very personable. They were great tours. After that, I walked back over to the hotel to check in. This is my room tour of the hotel in Springfield. The fireplace does work, but it is so hot, so I'm not gonna use it. But this is the Rose Suite. So, enormous fancy bed, and huge tub, and shower, and you may notice, veranda, which I do share with the neighbors but they have not checked in yet. But honestly, it is so hot and I am more sweat than person at this point. But this is the room. And the first thing I did was take a bubble bath. As I mentioned, just, it's very humid outside. I was very hot. 
So then I had some time to rest before meeting one of my friends from college to get dinner and then go to a show at the Muni, which is their outdoor theater. They were doing Matilda. And the kid who played Matilda, genuinely wonderful. They were so good. It was a great show. It was great to catch up with my friend and enjoy dinner and a show with her. The show didn't start until 8.30, so I didn't get back to the hotel at about until about midnight. And they give you, they don't, it's not staffed overnight, but they give you, your, you have your room key and then a key to the front door. So you can come, as, come and go as you please. So I had no problem getting back in, went right to bed, got a really good night's sleep. Then on Saturday, the hotel also includes breakfast, a hot breakfast, which was very nice. And then the places I went to Saturday were more, uh, they were further spread out. So that was my driving around today, whereas Friday was my walking around today. So first, I went to the Abraham Lincoln home and they have they offer free tours so that is the lincoln home but what's really cool is that for like half a block in each direction they have the neighborhood preserved i mean i'm sure the houses have been touched up but it's really cool that like it's not just the house itself but the area around it that one i was able to to take video of what it looked like inside And since they have sort of that little piece of the neighborhood preserved, there were two other houses like across the street that you could go into. They were not, uh, it's not set up as like, that's what the inside of this person's house looked like. It was Lincoln information. They was just, they were basically empty houses, like restored empty houses um, with like display cases about Lincoln and like, um, Whatever the fancy museum term for poster board of information is, I don't know what you'd call that, but just information and certain other objects. And they had, because the Lincolns, um, when they bought the house, it didn't look like it does now. They, rest um, they renovated it, remodeled it in the 2017, in the 17 years that they lived there, including adding an entire second floor. So they had sort of a model of what it looked like originally and then sort of like an in-between and then a model of what it looks like now. And then after that, I went over to the Lincoln tomb, which I know that I'd been there before as a young child. Um, and I remember like the gold nose statue, which you've, if you've been there before, you know what I'm talking about. But I did not remember that it's the, the tomb, the monument is in, like it's a full on graveyard. It's not just the Lincoln part of it, but I mean, a beautiful graveyard. The, so going into the tomb is it's very solemn and somber you kind of you walk in and then it's like you make a big circle and halfway through is where the I'm not sure what the correct word is but there's a, a mm, box isn't right there's well I'll just show you the picture So he is actually buried the floor below that. So he's not like in, you're not looking at what he is in. It's just sort of representative of what the public can come in and look at. He's the floor below that. But it was, it was very nice. And then as you, in the circle, as you're walking around, there are like maybe two foot tall 
uh, statues of him from various different stages of his life. And then after that, I had lunch. So I am vegetarian. And so I ordered the, like the Southwest salad, which normally comes with chicken. And so I said, I don't, you know, no chicken, please. And the server offered to substitute the chicken for a veggie burger. And I was like, yes, thank you. I had never, ever, I've been a vegetarian a very long time. I've never had anyone offer to substitute a meat-free option like that. So that was wonderful. And I had a coconut margarita. Delicious. And after lunch, I went over to the Washington Park Botanical Garden. It's not that big of a place, but that was honestly perfect because again, it was so hot it would like the actual temperature was like 90 which is not too bad but it was so humid that the feels like was 105 so i just i walked right around and i was like okay i feel like i've seen this place went back to the hotel took another bubble bath <laughs> And then the rest of Saturday, I spent just chilling in the room, which was nice. The hotel offers free wine and cheese from five to seven, so I did that. And then at seven o'clock every night, they deliver free fresh chocolate chip cookies to the room. So I had one of those. Enormous, they were enormous. So now it is Sunday morning. I had breakfast downstairs again today. Once I check out, I will be going over to the Lincoln Presidential Museum.
And then on my way out of town, I'll be stopping in New Salem, which is a reconstructed version, I suppose, of the town where Lincoln lived for several years as a young man. And on my way back home, I'll be stopping back in Bloomington, one, because I forgot my water bottle in the refrigerator at the B&B, so I'm going to pick that up. And then I will be having lunch there in Bloomington as well. And then it will be back home. I'm excited to see my cat again. She has been spending the weekend with my mom and dad. They've been taking good care of her, but I'm excited to see my baby. So Isa and I are safely back at home. I had a really great vacation. This was, I think, my first vacation as like post-college, not a family trip, not part of a work trip that I have ever gone on. But honestly, I couldn't afford to have done this before. I loved how it turned out and I wanted to say Part of the reason I wanted to film this extra wrap-up clip is that is to share my favorite part of the trip. My favorite part of the trip was the Lincoln Presidential Museum. It was amazing. So well put together, so well done, so immersive, and my favorite part of it, and I wish I wish I had better video of it, was at the end with, with like the lying in state room where you see like the you know the coffin and it's you can't really tell from the video but it's like you walk around in like a semicircle like around the coffin and it feels like you are there at the wake you know walking past the coffin you are there to pay your respects that it was amazing so honestly if if you do one thing in Springfield, Illinois, go to the Lincoln Presidential Museum. You will not regret it. I did also want to quickly share the two souvenirs I got for myself on my trip. So I, I don't know how I became a person who souvenir spoons, but I know that I have some from when I was a kid. And I don't know if I like, if I picked it out or if someone got it for me as a gift. And then I was like, yeah, this is my thing now, souvenir spoons. But so this one is from the Lincoln home. And this one is from the presidential museum. I, I, I there's, there's nothing I can say about these. I just, I like them. So thank you for watching my video, for being a part of my vacation. I enjoyed it and I hope that you did too.